Let me conclude this chapter by a very short video to compare the finite element method with the finite difference method. As you know, for the finite element method, what you do is you take your function u, the unknown, and you decompose it onto a basis of functions. And that basis of function is a finite basis because you have finite dimensional space. And what you do is you look for the components, the coefficients of the function u. So that will give you a linear system a u equals f. And to do this properly, you need to have the CL, the CL's lemma, you need to have interpolation, and you need to have the L2 coercivity. Now, when you do uh, finite differences, what happens is that you will replace the derivatives with basically uh, approximation of these derivatives on point on the grid, and then you will again lead that will lead you to solving a linear system. And then what you will need here is the consistency, consistency error, and the L infinity stability. So nothing comes for free, and obviously you will need some properties, so you have convergence when the step h goes to zero, the approximation somehow goes to uh, the solution. So again, uh, finite difference, finite element, they both start with a meshing. In one case, usually it's triangles, in the other case, it's usually uh, rectangles. Then you actually put together your method, and eventually what you obtain is a u equals b, in other words, a linear system. And in the next chapter, we will see strategies to solve these linear systems efficiently.